possibly lose your life. There's nothing but hate in that group. Earl Sears is calling on elected officials to speak up. I would say to the elected officials, the Commonwealth Attorney, uh, Buddha Bibberai, I would say to Phyllis Randall, the chairman, I would say to uh, Atusa Risa, I would say to all of them, there's a whole group of you. You need to come out today, find a microphone, and ensure that everybody knows that you disavow this kind of activity. Every Loudoun County elected official and candidate who appears to have an association with certain members in this Facebook group refuse to answer questions on camera with 7 News. Some sent us statements denouncing the threats. You can read their statements online at WJLA.com. According to documents from a whistleblower, one of Bibberai's staffers said in the group they wanted to contact Wynn's employer and ruin his livelihood after Wynn spoke at a school board meeting. They threaten, you know, threaten my life and my livelihood. So this speech that this gentleman gave um, really incited a lot of emotions. Heather Gottlieb is a member of the Loud and Love Warrior Facebook group. I think that there were definitely some things said in that chat that probably shouldn't have been said. Uh, I don't think that they, you know, that anything was ever going to be acted upon. I'm actually one of the people who has uh, sent emails to people employers. Gottlieb is defending what she did. We are standing up for those in our community that are disenfranchised, those in our community that are bullied, um, students, teachers. I mean, we've been doing this for a couple years. Someone contacted your employer and made allegations and got you fired. You're okay with that? If somebody wanted to show my employer what I post online, that would be fine. So you think the consequences should be if someone gets fired from their job? Sometimes, yeah. Nick Minox, 7 News. Now, to be clear, the 